Ladies and gentlemen, we have been working all day, and now it's after work. I'm Joe. Welcome back, Nintendo Spotlight, where every week games come out on the on the eShop. I go through, see if what's interest, and today we have, as I was mentioning just before recording, a spotlight that I did not think I was going to do right off the bat. I was actually going to wait for a sale for this game uh, to see it drop to, like, 20 bucks at least per game. Um... I didn't pick up Resident Evil 4, but I did pick up the Origins Collection. Um, my Gamers Club unlocked and a gift card got me down t uh, 20 bucks cheaper. So 40 bucks, 20 and 20 plus tax and all that stuff. I was like, okay, I'll settle for that. I can't encourage people to get a game that is one cheaper elsewhere. Unless you've never, ab if you've absolutely never played this game, never touched a Resident Evil by all means, yes. But if you own this game already on other consoles, other platforms, wait for a sale if you really do want to pick it up and play for the Switch, please. Um, yeah, I'm, 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 of course, not voting with my wallet here like I should have done. But if I can at least spread the word there at the beginning of this video, that is my message. So without further ado, we're going to at least see, you know, how it plays on Switch, all that fun stuff. Um, we'll check out one, which is the download code in this physical edition. The physical cartridge has Resident Evil Zero on it. So without further ado, we're going to check out both in this uh, episode of Nintendo Spotlight. So let's jump in. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, man. Akuma says, Fortnite Cross Jumpman collaborate coming? I don't even know what a Jumpman is. Resident I know Mario Evil. Jumpman. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. So you can do wide like. Or original, the 4 by 3 ratio is 16 by 9. Uh, subtitles on. Alternate, we'll stick with the alternate controls. Um, there we go. We'll go with normal. Boopity doop, borbity doobop, and okay, so Chris, yeah, they all come just like just like in um the PS4 and the Xbox One version came came with the uh, alternate costumes. Or were those DLC? Or no, those were unlockables, right? Something like that. I can't remember. But uh, fun fact: Resident Evil remake remastered on the ps4 was my very first playthrough back in 2015 when i started my youtube channel around the forest zone, situated <laughs> in northwest raccoon city where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots oh they're jordans oh okay <laughs> i was like huh uh oh akuma that sneakerhead Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred. That playthrough is still up on the channel, by the way. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team. Winner gamer says, "I hope to get four on sale for October." Oh, I'm sure there'll be at least. There has to be at least one sale before then. I would imagine the way games have been going on sale, like hotcakes. I would, I would see this game on sale in like a month or two. Save for the remaining body of. I'm a, yes, I'm a sneakerhead, but shh, it's a game update though. Yo, Akuma. <laughs> Yo, no judgments here. Don't judge Akuma. We continued our search for the other members, <clears throat> and it turned into a nightmare. L1 says Memorial Day sale. Yo, fam, imagine next week. <laughs> <laughs> 20 bucks off, yo. Uh oh. Joseph Frost about to get an RIP. Let's go. Still amazes me how well this game aged, in my opinion. I have mine. Where is it? Right here. Ooh, that is not good. That's about to break. You're done, son. Get wrecked. <laughs> You're done, son. Yeah, there you go. Sorry, I had to pull it out. My GameCube copy. With the two discs and instruction booklets, because those were a thing back in the day. Kids, what you know about that? Yeah. 
Yeah, this game still looks good. You deal, you, you dual wield guns, you dual wield easies. Oh my god. Come on, come on, Chris. Come on, fam. Ah. Let Draco send your dogs back. saying Wesker could have let them die if this was all really a test for umbrella I'm just saying he could have just let Chris die right there and that would have been that but then there'd be no resident evil that's goat right there yo Wesker's goat fan Wesker's goat <gasps> all right let's begin this there Dude, if it went on sale this weekend, people now. would be tight. Captain Wesker, Barry, <laughs> and myself. We don't know where Chris is. But yeah, if they do like an Independence Day sale, I could see that. Probably not for as much as I'm thinking, but it'd probably be like a five dollar off this thing. Place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey Wesker, where's Chris? And Jill, no. five outfit, Jill. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find. What was that? Let's see if Joe remembers this game. Chris? Oh, I have. No. I have a pretty good Ooh, memory Jill, of this game. Go <laughs> I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. We go right. back a long way. You two go. Whoa. I'll secure this area. All right, you secure Stay the crap sharp. out of that area, Wesker. Secure it. Secure it, fam. This game looks good, yo. They did a really good job remastering this damn game. <clears throat> come on, Wesker. I mean, come on, Barry. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna skip around here. Let him do its do the thing thing. All right, so my map there. Is it L? Okay. Maybe I should have picked up Pro Controller because I'm using the Jocons and the I L button take a look is at like this. mad slim. What is it? <laughs> It's blood. <laughs> what is it? Come on now. Probably a deep discount on Black Friday, but yo, fam, you're talking about like <laughs> six months from now. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, cool bat, but it's on the Switch, though. Don't give me guff. <laughs> What's going on, cool bat? Bop, bop. CB, what's going on, dude? Isn't there a Black Friday in July sale? There's an Amazon day that's in July. The most iconic scene right there. Get out of here, fam. Go. Go. Damn, dude is streaming his butt off. I'm almost Paragon 600. Yo, Tony's been going in, dude. He got that computer, yo. He's set. It? Look out, it's a Taking monster. advantage, man. Hell yeah. Let me take care of it. Get him. I'm sorry. He's got the most powerful magnum in the game that can one-shot a tyrant. Yet three magnums to the damn chest, and this man what's still not down. What is this thing? Nah. I found Kenneth killed <laughs> by this sorry. thing. That it's bothers me. Wesker. I'm sure it'll be thirty in uh, thirty in a month, and sale would be like twenty-five cents. So here's the thing on the Switch digitally. It's 30 bucks for each game individual. The Origins is only a physical thing where it comes with the cartridge for Resident Evil 0 and a digital download code for Resident Evil 1. Um, Resident Evil 4 is not included on this. So that is digital only, and that's another 30 bucks on top of that. So for someone who would want to pick up this game now, they'd be spending 90 bucks to get Let's all go. three games. On the Switch, that is. Jill, I have to clarify. On the Switch. Let's not leave this hall. Even in yeah, Japan, yeah. on the Switch Japanese side, yeah. It's the same situation there. It's uh, both on cart... Oh, you're talking about the game on cartridge for both of them. That I do not know. 
I don't even know if they got a physical, to be honest with you. $15 for all of them on other consoles. I mean, L1, I mean, you're not, it, it, not even a Kappa. Like, hey, it's fact that, no, like, it's no. a lot cheaper What's on going the on other around consoles. Here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris and now. Chris and now Wesker. All right, so Barry gave me the lock pick because we're the master of unlocking, fam. Listen, if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. All right, let's go. Let's do to do with the doo doo hoo hoo. Alright, so, I mean, game looks beautiful. Uh, apparently plays 1080 from... It said somewhere here. Which is nice. Yep, remastered 1080 visuals. So, we should... A, a game on a, a game at 1080 few and far between i love it <laughs> all right let's get kenneth's uh video and we'll go at this for let's say 8:45, and then we'll switch it over to um resident evil zero check that out see how that looks uh get used to fix camera angles again sorry i forgot the where the handgun bullet is it there it's there boop Get it. No crows? Oh yeah, but yeah, Akuma, I'd be curious to know. Wow, even Japan, Japan will always get full physical with, with Capcom. Yeah, I'm telling you, dude, it was really weird how they did it. Um, Question, though. Is it reverse? Like, is Resident Evil 1 on a cartridge and Resident Evil 0 a digital download code? Or uh, what's uh, what's the situation? Talk to me. <laughs> Not this time, I guess. <laughs> Bam, dodge him. Let's go. Dodge him, baby. Crack him. Crack him legs. Mm. Take. And then that's going to show you how to examine thingamabobbers. This guy right here, right? Nope. One is a download, zero is cartridge. Oh, so it's the same thing in Japan. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh. Get them daggers, baby. Mm. Alright, he's going around that way. Oh, you going around this way? You going around this way, fam? Yo, come over here. Alright, there we go. Now I got him out of the way. I can push that jewel. See, Akuma, I remember this game. I mean, ask me to speed run it. I can't speed run it to save my life. I can't speed run anything to save my life, but I'll probably knock this game out in like four hours. I can knock, I can beat this game in a stream. I remember that being closer. Fam, I totally pushed it the wrong way. <laughs> Clearly, I don't remember as soon as I said I remember. Capcom playing games, Japan hates digital, yo. On PS4, they're both on disc. These are the facts. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Don't be mean. Don't be mean. Don't be mean. Come on now. There we go. Broken. Oh, hi. I can show you guys the... Uh, that was the new mechanic that was added into this game. And if you got a headshot, you were able to grab your knife back. Um was the secondary weapon so if a zombie grabs you and you have a knife or uh, sorry not like a knife in your inventory but you pick up these daggers as sub items and uh a taser for jill um i think it's a grenade for chris um you then have the option of not losing health and just attacking them that way it, it it's automatic so it automatically uses up either of the things that you have Either the batteries for your taser or the knife that you put the daggers that you pick up throughout the uh, mansion but yeah this was such a freaking iconic game 
This is still between this and RE2. Among my favorites of the Resident Evil games. Uh, will I have room for... Yes, I will. <laughs> he wants hugs? Pretty sure they both would have fit on a cart. Uh, absolutely. No, 100%. It's that they're using smaller cartridges because they're cheaper, so... Maximizing the bang for your buck sort of situation from a business end. Again, I don't agree with it. I don't agree with it. I'm just saying what 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 the situation is. They probably put it on a four gigabyte card or an eight gigabyte card, and they were like, okay, no, we're not gonna put it on the sixteen or anything like that. Boom. So. This was another feature that they added in. Was this little area here where you have to find masks. Well, sorry, I said feature, but so it kind of tells you the four masks. Um, also the introduction of Crimson Heads, the reanimated corpses uh, brought into this from Resident Evil Code Veronica also. <laughs> they brought that into this one, which I thought was pretty neat. Because they made them really terrifying. Like, they... <laughs> after you kill certain zombies, they'll... If they stick around, if you don't burn their bodies, they they be, they be reanimate into faster, more deadly zombies. And it's the creepiest thing on the planet. <clears throat> Crimson heads? Yeah, fam. No thank you. <laughs> uh, no thanks alright so let's see what we got here we got the sword key use one of these Oop, there's going to be plenty of herbs in this mansion I'm not afraid to use one <laughs> damn Akuma straight up yo I guess I won't need one so you can get the map from up there if you want to just push this thing out of the way. I just want to show you guys real quick. If you end up going into this area, get into dagger. This more or less shows you how to use your thing the hard way. Your your sub item, <laughs> the hard way. Your sub weapon. Ah. I want to see if we can try to get around them. I've never been able to get around them. But... Yeah, no. <laughs> Want, want, want. That little, that little area right there, I could have totally done it if I didn't walk into him that close. But yeah, if you push that thing, you get the map, and then bam, alright, let's use this mansion key, which I think if I examined it, it would have been a sword key. <laughs> the question is, will Barry come out of hibernation for this, says L1 fam. <laughs> I th didn't he say he sold his switch? I thought he sold his Switch, or he gave it to, like, his nephew or something like that. What's this? Still freeze me in. I don't know why. Yo, Super Nintendo, what's going on, fam? How you doing, B? Where is Barry? <laughs> <coughs> uh, he comes and goes. He comes and goes. I don't think he's done a video since probably, like, around RE2, though. Oh, there we go. Close up of a big Jill there. Um, I will grab that now. There's a, uh, there's an item that we use for a puzzle later on. Like, grabbing as much as I can. That's helpful now just don't want the dogs jumping at me and what did i tell you you want herbs you got herbs boom so boopity doop up shooby doo up and i'm gonna take that right there sweet so if you need more or more full herbs there you go i'm sorry i should have told you guys mixing herbs another thing so red and green gives you full health. Red, blue, and green cures your poison, gives you a little bit of an invincibility. 
if I remember correctly. Nice air video, fam. Thanks, Super Nintendo. How you doing? I got Sonic Team Racing and am no not and am not a fan. I'm sorry, fam. I'm sorry. I was uh yeah, I, that was a hard pass for me. <laughs> That freaked me out the first time I ever played this. My god. This game did a really good job of just like creating that really tense atmosphere without overloading you with zombies or anything like that. Hi Kubo, what's going on? <laughs> what about green green and rainbow? Does that give you a Mario star? <laughs> I did it for the dagger, fam. I did it for the dagger. There was a reason behind me doing that. A Nintendo fan buying the Sega game. What did you say? Yo, fam, there's good Sega games. Come on, Sega owns Atlas. Sir? Bam, bam. Uh, oh, I can't do this scene. Hold up. I gotta drop some inventory off. We should we should at least do the infamous scene. They change up the line in this version of the game, but we should at least do it. <laughs> Super Nintendo Dad says I'm not a Nintendo fan. <laughs> oh, there we go. Cutsies. Broken broken legs. Haikuba says, oh wait, I read that. Yo, Haikuba, what's going on, dude? Oh, there we go. And there's the flask, which uh, will help us with the reanimated corpses once we have a lighter. All right, so, bam, bam, uh, get that handgun ammo. Nope, 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 nope. bam. Drop that in there. All right, I think we good. I think we good. Shotgun shells. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. So with the flask, what I was just mentioning before is if you see a zombie that you have killed laying on the floor when you return a room, they will turn into crimson heads after X amount of time. What is it like 30 minutes or something like that? Or that 20 minutes, something, something like that. But uh, with the canteen and a lighter, you can burn them up kill them get them that way you get no crimson head <clears throat> and then the ink ribbons are your save states so you only have x amount of saves based on how many ink ribbons you have I'm gonna go through here anyway. Let's go. Ooh, look at this beast rocking out some pro zombie dodges. <laughs> it's like one of the few I know how to dodge, fam. I'm not that good at dodging. <laughs> Max, what's going on, dude? Yo, fellow Team Stew member here. Mr. Maximus over here. Over here to my right. This guy. Y'all go follow him. Show him some love. My man's an awesome speedrunner. You want to see pro, pro play of all the Resident Evil games. That's the dude to watch. Yo, Max, what's going on, dude? We are playing the Swatch version of this game. We're going to take that shotgun. So there is a way to do this without causing what we're about to cause, but... I, I want the cutscene, so there you go. All right, that should be everything. <sighs> Chillin' bro, video editing for a bit? Yo, that's what's up, dude. Hell yeah. You video editing for, for, for Twitch or YouTube? And secondly, yo, how do I not know you have a YouTube channel? <laughs> I'm so happy with the hound getting the iron. Oh, 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 oh. I, I, 
that. I'm not going to spoil it. <laughs> not going to spoil that. We'll edit that out. <laughs> oh God. What did I do now? Yeah, but I Wesker! know who does. <laughs> I had Mom! it spoiled for me. So. <laughs> Jill, you in there? Barry? Get me out of here. The door's jammed. Stand back. <clears throat> my Grab man just one-shotted a doorknob, and that doorknob did not... Yo, did Wesker ever look into just having Umbrella work on, you know... Experimenting on doorknobs a little bit more because I mean that doorknob just took a shot to Barry's Magnum and it's still there. <clears throat> I'm just saying. I think they were in the wrong business. Barry. That was a close one. A second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. Really? So yeah, they changed up the wording a Thanks. little bit in the remaster. <laughs> but Barry, didn't you say you were going back to the dining room to find other clues? I'm glad and all, but why are you here? I'm suspicious. I just had something I wanted to check. Oh, that's not anyway, suspicious at all. get back to searching mm. for Wesker and Chris. Mm. I'm on to you, Barry. I'm on Thanks, to you. Thanks, Barry. I owe you one. Don't mention it. What a great guy. Was that an achievement? That was weird. There was like a little gun thing that popped up with the Magnum and then it said, what a great guy. And then for a second, I thought it was like inner text or so, inner dialogue text or something like that. Damn, I got to stop joking ever. Yo, fam, yo. We can't play with spoilers, yo. People, we, uh, we, we toy with people's emotions with that. People get killed, fam. People get killed. Detective Pikachu was great throw. Damn. I am I am curious. I still need to see Endgame, dude. <laughs> I still need to see Endgame. Oy, oy, oy. Damn. All right, there we go. Twitch making some new intro outro stuff, and I do have a YouTube. Yo, I'm I'm supping. If I'm not subbed already, I'm subbing, fam. Oh fuck! Sorry. <laughs> I forgot he was out there. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, you just dodged him like two seconds ago. How do you forget that? <laughs> oh my god. Why? Joe's still forgetting that guy, yo. Oh, that was great. Well, I gotta censor that one for the <laughs> YouTube side. Oh man, let's just unlock that. Oh, that's not an unlock. Okay. I'm about to get bit. Oh, fudge you. Come on. <laughs> For Christ's sakes. You know, they have a bracelet that shocks you every time you curse. Could be good training. Yo. Yo, CB, don't make me chuck a Jokon at you. I will chuck. I will chuck this joke on at you, fam. Just saying. Oh, man. But, yeah, no, I, I do want to catch the Pikachu that is of the uh, detective kind. So, yeah, that whistle will come in handy. We might even see the whistle. What? How are we doing on time? We're actually cutting in close. So, we'll do this little round, this first loop around the mansion. We'll find the save point. Uh, we'll switch it over to Resident Evil Zero. Check that out for the Swatch. Uh, that's an armor, right? Boy. Armor key. And boom. Here we go. And this is good to do now because if you have a spot saved, 
this moment comes in very handy. Barry. <laughs> Jill. Got any good news? Nope. Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse? And somehow no. I'm still Can't alive. Can't say much safer here either. We'd better secure <coughs> our Bro, I'm impervious. Yeah. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. All right then, let's split up again. Hey, hold on a sec. Look what I've found. What? A can of fizz. It's sure to yellow and mellow those things. Yellow and mellow those things. Hopefully you won't have to use it. Boom. Worth it. What about you? Oh, don't worry. I like the buddy system we have here. I see. Thanks. I'll take it. See you later. Ciao. I'll take that magnum ammo too, please. Thanks. <laughs> Max says, I'm so bad at editing it takes me ten years per video. Yo, fam, yo. It comes it comes with uh it comes with time. Trust. <laughs> It'll feel like forever in a day when you initially start. And then the more you do it, the faster you're gonna become at it. Learn shortcuts now and get used to doing shortcuts. They save you time. I cannot trust that enough. Oop, using that man chinky. I forget if I mentioned it before, but if you examine the key, you'll see an insignia on it. It says, it says sword key on it. Um, out here, you can use the dog whistle. There's downstairs too, right? Yep. First time you're seeing me shoot here. <laughs> oh, hi. How you doing? I want a headshot from you, fam. Yeah, they are giving me achievements. First kills are special. Huh. I'm gonna have to go back and check and see, like, what exactly... Now, one of those dudes turns into Crimson Head, so if I had the flask and the lighter, I could burn it up. BRB is no worries, Crumply. No worries. Alright. So there you have it. More or less how Resident Evil looks, plays on the Swatch. I'm gonna save it right here. Although, I usually try to just go without saving. So I probably won't ever use this file again, but... <laughs> Um, I usually try to save my save for my one save for like towards the end of the game where I have to that well I don't want to spoil it for people who have not played this game. So never mind But if you've seen my first my my first videos of this game We did a full playthrough back when this dropped on the ps4 in 2015 and uh, there's a montage moment I think it's episode like 9 or 10 of this game and uh, man <laughs> hilarious but anyway anyway with that said let's jump over to resident evil zero now and see how that works well not how it works but how it looks plays on the swatch and then uh we'll move on over to monster hunter gen ultimate for the remainder of the night but i did want to get this nintendo spotlight in oh well, yeah so here we go re zero about to load up about to load up, about to load up some Resident Evil Zero, baby. Normal, Resident normal, Evil no more. Zero. Ah, the more difficult. It's brutal. It is brutal. It is brutal in terms of like the the uh, the inventory system A in this Midwestern game. Western town in America. For damn sure. Raccoon City. <laughs> A solitary island far off in the sea. Rockfort Island. Rock An Fort island, island would become the second raccoon city, Sheena Island. There are still many unanswered questions about these seemingly unrelated yet intensely traumatic events. Though it is believed that the international enterprise umbrella was somehow involved, 
Little is known as to the origin of this faceless corporation. When was it established? By whom? By whom? And how was the T-Virus created? Find out now. To uncover the truth, we must delve deeper into the events which transpired in the beginning, before the mansion incident. Ah! I got hit by a train. Sheena Island from Gun Survivor 1. Yo, I played Gun Survivor one time. That was an experience. Yeah. That was an experience. It was actually a pretty fun game. I will say that. <laughs> Yo, your boy Ark Thompson. Shout outs. Yo, can we get Ark Thompson Resident Evil 8? Thanks. Leeches! It was leeches all along! Mildly disturbing. Investigation of some bizarre murders in the suburbs of Raccoon City. Nothing in our training could ever have prepared us for the nightmare that ensued. We never stood a chance. What's going on? Ancient failure. Emergency We're going bag. down. So this was Bravo team, the team that went in on their way to a uh, certain oh. mysterious murders that you hear in RE1 beginning of that game and uh, Rebecca Chambers which is one of the characters you bump into in RE1 and Enrico also is in this game he plays Rebecca and Billy which we'll meet later Check the current position and investigate the surrounding area <gasps> captain look Done. Finished. Captain. Hmm? What happened? Mm. Court order for transportation. Prisoner Billy Cohen. Twenty six. Twenty six years old. Court martial sentenced to death July twenty second. Prisoners to be transferred to the Regathon base for execution. Those poor soldiers. They were good men just doing their jobs. And that scum. 163 pounds. Yo, I weigh All more than Billy Cohen. By like a couple pounds. I was 163 last week and then I shot back up to 167. <laughs> The B team, Aunt Rikus. Don't forget my boys, Edward, Kenneth, Richard, either. Yeah, but Richard was on the other on the other on the other uh, helicopter, and Kenneth too. No, Kenneth was with uh, Alpha. He he dies like two seconds in. We watched Kenneth die. Yo, rip. <laughs> Pour one for the homie Kenneth. Oh, Forest. Yo, yeah, Forest. Rip. Forest, you done, boy. Sorry, Richard. I mean, um, I'm thinking Brad. My bad. Brad. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Let's do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. Here we go. Gonna go on the train. Gonna go on the train. Fun fact, this was an N64 game initially before it ended up going to the GameCube. This is Officer Chambers from Stars Bravo Team. Please identify Oh, yourself. useless Brad. Is someone there? <laughs> <clears throat> Yo, that walkie-talkie is money. That tape recorder? Fam. 
Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Mm -mm. Oh, you're done, son. She's done, rip. Game over. Game over, fam. Game over. Ink ribbon. I do like this save room theme. I still think my favorite save room theme is uh, Resident Evil 3, actually. You can just walk behind Rebecca. Oh, I didn't even catch that. Oh, wait, you know what? No. The, you, uh, the bandana dude is who I'm, who's, who's I was thinking of. Never mind. My bad. 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 Joseph! Getting bitten down. Chewed up by the doggos. You're done, son. You're done. Ooh, passenger's diary. Let's go. Let's go. So, yeah, more or less. Plays good. Plays good. I'm weirded out by that scorpion tail. I don't remember that on the PS4 version, but... Okay. Interesting. The weird... take you out of the experience moment there. Hello. I pressed A like four times. Come on. Billy, Lieutenant Cohen. So, you seem to know me. You seem Maybe to know me. fantasizing about me, have you? You're the prisoner that was being transferred for execution. You were with those soldiers outside. Oh, I see. You're with stars. Well, no offense, honey, but your kind doesn't seem to want me around. So, I'm afraid our little chat time is over. Wait! You're under arrest! Mm. No thanks, Dollface. I've already worn handcuffs. I could shoot, you know. My man's really jacked for 163. Trying to be in UFC or something? Oh, there we go. Edward! Are you alright? What happened? Worse than we can't. You must be careful. Full of z zombies and zombos, no monsters, monsters, no zombies and monsters. Uh, uh. Oi, here we go. So, you can find N64 footage of this online, but this more or less sort of plays out. Oh, hello. There we go. Sorry. A, 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 A. Oh, wow, that was dirty as all hell. Oh, wow, okay. All right, well. <laughs> Sit, boy. <laughs> so this seems to have some sort of achievement system, too, to it. Kind of neat that they added that in there. Joseph got re Oh, wait. I was supposed to grab something from him. <laughs> Yo, that dog just did parkour off your chest. <laughs> oh, my God. I think he had bullets or something, right? Wow. Okay. These load scenes are a little... Long. 
You were so happy just a few hours ago. Fam, I was alive a few hours ago. I was like half dead for the last two hours. You see me? You see them zombies? <laughs> Why that zombie looking like he lost <laughs> I don't normally dodge this well. I'm being... I got very lucky. I got very lucky, okay? I'm not that good at dodging. This is Rebecca. Over. I still need to see that movie. Enrico! Hello! Can you read The one that has Rebecca Please in it. Respond. The Red Dragon, this is Mortal Kombat tie-in? 23 people. We have also confirmed that he was institutionalized, so keep your guard up. Can you hear me, Rebecca? Over. Stand by your phone, you better. You wouldn't think twice before killing you. Enrico! Captain! Hello? Hello! Alright. Hello? Hey, 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 hey. Stop chasing me. Stop chasing me, fam. Alright. Let's throw that away. We used the key that we picked up from the dude. Here we go. Things are about to get real fun right now. What? How did it's he be dangerous from here on in? Where were you? Why don't we cooperate? Cooperate with you? Listen, little girl, if you haven't noticed, there's some pretty freaked out things on this train. And I, for one, want to get out of here. I don't think we stand a chance doing it alone. You expect me to trust you, a wanted felon? I don't need your help. I can handle this on my own. And don't call me little girl. All right, Miss I noticed the yourself. 90s bro chats, yo, 90s, early 2000s, everyone had those, like, tribal symbol tattoos. My man's looking like Batista. <laughs> Why don't you go and try while I wait here? <laughs> All right, here we go. This is going to be the fun part now. Because we'll get into a little bit of the uh, crux of the game's main mechanics. All right, got to go make some guac for the tacos, yo. Lurk mode engaged, L1. Fam, I'll catch you later, dude. Make that guac. This was a pretty cool cutscene. Um, excuse me, sir. Sir. Uh. Oh, this is so gnarly. <laughs> mm -mm. Don't even bother. Don't even bother. Just run. <laughs> He got a headache, huh? Yo, oh! Of course, the Matrix bullet time stoppage was a thing. <laughs> Everyone did it. Are you okay? Cutscenes are still really well done, I will say. She's back. This aged so well, OMG. Yeah, dude, dude. 
I'm telling you, they did a really good job with the remasters. I have, I have, I bought the PS4 version day one for all of them. Zero, one, uh, four. Like, Who is they aged guy? well. They did age well. What's going on? Who's controlling the train? Go and check out the first engine car. Listen, like, I know where that is, we've fam. We've got to cooperate with each other from now on. You got that? Well, I don't... Clue in, girl. Or maybe you like being worm bait. <laughs> he right. said clue in. You just remember, I will shoot you if you try anything funny. Fine. Now take these with you. Some bullets. Let's if go. If you find anything, give me a call. All right? Alright, so here we go, so the one of the key mechanics of this game is the fact that you can you have two characters with you almost at all times. There are times where you split apart with the game, you can actually control the other character with the right stick and you can swap back and forth between the two. Um, that's also gonna play key into who you send out to certain areas when another character can't go certain characters can only go through particular areas certain characters can only push certain objects billy um so the game really does um that that's part of the puzzle solving of this game is figuring out who you're gonna also use for certain puzzles as well it's a puzzle within a puzzle it's like puzzleception basically and very quickly we're gonna learn what we're gonna do here so i'm gonna go in as rebecca right now mess around with this we're gonna reconnect this cable oh you're done son where did the leeches go <laughs> All right. So, bam. Bam. Now, we're kind of stuck here. This is sort of our first encounter as to how the heck do I deal with this. I am stuck here. I can't get out of this room. So, Billy's up there. We're going to swap to him in a second. But what I am going to do is use this little service lift to drop this key here. And this is going to help Billy navigate around and try to find a way to help get Rebecca out of here. So we're going to drop that key in there. Bang. And then I'll jump into chat in a minute here. My bad. I'm so glad they let me sing for this. Yo, Max, those vocals were angelic. All right. Come on. Come on, Billy. There you go. There you go. So today we found this Mexican re restaurant. They found out that my wife and I were there for the first time. The owner visited our table and gave us both signed coupons for a free margarita each on our next visit. Damn, that's kind of baller. That's kind of baller. CB walked in like a celebrity, basically. He's like, yeah, you know me. I'll put, I'll shut you down. I'll shut you down. I'll take you out, son. You see my tacos? Delicious. Scrumptiolescent, all right? All right? <laughs> this part freaked me out as a kid, says it cool. Dude, it, yeah. This and remaster freaked me out. See, okay, this is bugging me out. Because why, why? It was fine. I didn't notice it in RE1 when we were playing that just a few minutes ago, but it seems to be like stalling on these loads between door transitions. All right, so we'll at least get up to first boss this game, so that way I could show you guys first boss, but I took what Rebecca gave me. We're gonna travel around. Alliance, you're gonna have to wait, fam. Give me like five minutes. Five minutes, fam. Five minutes, five minutes. 
in all fairness, their tacos al carbon were the best I'd ever have. That's saying something too. Hot damn. Because didn't you make those, dude? Come on. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, there's like 5,000 of you. Oh, fudge. Well. I'll take that. <laughs> Billy also can take damage, so that's why I took him. All right, give me a second, guys. Just gonna let the cat out, and then we will get it going. I didn't expect all three zombos to come out like that. They all walked in there. Come on. Wrecked. Yo, we getting wrecked already. Let's go. We're about to press F for Billy right now. Uh, Alright, I'll shoot. There we go. Bam, bam, bam. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, God. Jimbo, what did I tell you? Stay down. Stay down, Jimbo. Come on. Come on, Jimbo. Stay down. Oh, you're making me use him. You're making me use them. Shot in the booty. I told you. I told you. I have deadly booty shots. Let's go. Have you seen me play Monster Hunter? I'm just saying. Just saying. I am just saying, yeah. I'm just saying, yeah. All right, so that key Rebecca gave us we examined it. Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to swap. She's just chilling there. I think it even has the number on there. Oh, conductor room. There we go. Boop. And what do you know? That's the conductor room. If you don't have the key, I, I believe it reads the name of the room anyway, so you're good there. Yo, I like this Resident Evil. Yo, this Resident Evil likes you, fam. This Resident Evil likes you. Okay? All right, let Draco. All right, Yo, what's going on, fam? Boom, boom. Actually, Billy can't combine. That's right. Forgot about that. All right. So we're going to leave these on the floor. And another thing about uh, about this game is you drop items anywhere. But you can only drop a set amount of items in-game. Um, I'm not going to use that right now. I will just keep that there because we'll bring the items to it. So we'll grab the map. Got the map of the train. So originally, this game was only supposed to take place on a train, and that was it. But, uh, they moved it over to GameCube, and I forget the exact reasoning with what happened, but I believe it had something to do with the cartridges just not holding enough memory because this game was originally developed for the N64, and they only had X amount of space left, so... When they moved over to GameCube, GameCube had a disc format, able to add a lot more. Whoop. Oh boy. Alright, so we will fight this boss, and then that sort of that sort of like will be the perfect place to leave. This is game of Dooski. A uh, uh, yeet. Yo, Draco's done with his finals. He said, yeet, professor. And the professor was like, just because you yeeted that exam, I'm going to give you an A+. Plus. True story. Yeet your exams. Don't yeet your exams. <laughs> so, that piece right there, which for some reason I can't grab, right there, this ice pick, that's going to be what we need to send to Rebecca to lockpick her way out of that door. Before we do that, though, I'm going to go in this room. Because there's a handy-dandy shotgun that I need. And 
shotties, just like some other weapons that you'll find, will sometimes take up two slots. So, Billy's only got six slots here. We're already using up. Look at that. Look at how much we're using up already. Boom. But I'm going to go handgun bullets. Shoddy. And that first aid. <laughs> Don't like the sound of that. Or since this, you disturbed the rest of the class by yelling, I'm going to deduct 5% off your exam. <laughs> no, Draco, is that what he did? <laughs> Only 5%? Bro. You can take that. You, you, you good. So instead of a 105, you got a 100. <laughs> oh, man. Le Draco, le Draco. I keep doing that. Sorry. X feels more natural to go into a menu, but I gotta press the Y button. Here we go. Let's do this. Joe's all like, worth it. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> a, a yeet? <laughs> it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Don't eat your papers. Great. This clip will go viral and everyone will think I'm the cause of everyone failing. Oh, okay. That wasn't supposed to happen. I guess I needed to grab the ice pick to trigger that. Okay, whoops. Actually never knew that. Keep going down there. <laughs> I keep going to the wrong thing, but yo, is that the Alexa Legacy? Da! 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 <laughs> fam, what's going on, dude? Yo, we beat we beat boxing out here, yo, fam, yo, beat boxing. I was just singing Mario 64. <laughs> oh my god, but what's going on, fam? Yo, y'all, please. Peep out Alexa Legacy. Awesome streamer, awesome peeps. Also has a YouTube channel as well, which is blowing the F up, fam. So, yo, please, show her some love. What is going on, dude? Here we go. We're about to battle. We're about to battle a giant thing. Let's go. I'm ready for you. Now, this is just suspend all disbelief, folks, <laughs> please. I don't know how. I don't know how this entire time. I, 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 I just I can't explain it. OK, I'm sorry. I can't explain. There we go. Boop. No, don't. Do that. I keep pushing X. Oh boy. Yep. All right. There we go. Well, that was there. There goes my no hit. There we go. Come on. Running after it. Damn it, Joe! Stop pressing X. I, I'm gonna need to figure out a way to swap that. Boom. 
Oh, oh, God. Okay. Well, no more bullets left. Okay. <laughs> There we go, come on. Come on. Come on. I'll make the scorpion mop. Beep! Just let it come to you. That's all you gotta really do. Why it spazzes at a bullet? I have no idea. Should be almost dead. Got him. Woo! <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> You're done, son. You're done. There we go. <laughs> and that's how you beat him without taking too much damage. We had a little snafu there with the menu buttons, but that was my bad. That was my bad. No snaps. Right. Yo, that was a scorpion, fam. That was the scorpion wins. Yo, it's been a bit. How's the game? Yo. Plays plays just as well as is when I had it on the PS4. Um, we were checking out this and um, and Resident Evil One, um, but yo, you've never, dude, really, you've never played an RE, zombies and stuff, right? Basically, zombies, sci-fi, weird experiments and whatnot, giant scorpions popping down from trains that are moving at the speed of light. Suspend disbelief, fam. Suspend disbelief. But um, Draco, if you're ready for Monster Hunter, I am as well. Um, <laughs> it makes you wonder why he bought it again. Yo, fam, I am a weak human being. And um, I would recommend if you... Uh, well, Alexa, you have a PS4, right? Hell, you even play on PC, right? I I would recommend... So this is going to be one of these weird Nintendo spotlights. And I hope this doesn't shine a bad light on me. But like I said, I bought, I bought it launch day because I used my Best Buy Gamers Club Unlocked and I had a $10 uh, gift card that I could use to get this game for 40 bucks. The games originally dropped for 20 bucks a piece so that's why I was okay with this. I still strongly recommend waiting for a sale for this game. Um, if you have another platform and have never played a Resident Evil game, I would recommend purchasing it on those other platforms unless you want to take this game on the go. I can understand that. Then that's where the value would kick in. Um, otherwise, the game is extremely affordable and on sale all the time on other platforms where it is much cheaper. Um, you can probably get the game for like, uh, get multiple games, multiple Resident Evil games for about 20, 30 bucks. And meanwhile, this is 60 bucks. The physical cartridge is Resident Evil Zero and the digital code is Resident Evil 1. Resident Evil 4 is digital only, and that's another 30 bucks there. So you're spending 90 bucks on essentially three games for the Nintendo Switch when you could spend probably a third of that price getting a majority of the Resident Evil games on your PS4, Xbox One, or PC for that matter. So I, I do want to point that out there. And um, I will say I do not agree with the pricing, but here I am, weak, and I did not vote with my wallet, shun me, and all that stuff. But to let you guys know, I, I do really want to put that out there. So with that said, we're going to switch it over to Monster Hunter for the rest of the night. This has been Nintendo Spotlight. For the people watching over on YouTube, let me know if you did end up picking it up on the Switch, what you think. I, I love me my Resident Evil games. I am weak. I bought it, <laughs> as you guys know. And um, I've owned multiple of these games on multiple platforms. Hell, I even showed you guys my GameCube version of this game that I already have. And so, among others, we've replayed them on my GameCube multiple times. We've played them on PS4 multiple times. I, I, I think I own six on the on the three on not 360, uh, not anymore at least, but on the Xbox One on. Yes, for on freaking Steam. Like, yeah, I own a lot of them everywhere. But with that said, let me know what you think. I'll see you guys next time. Just Joe clocking out. Take care. Love y'all.